A man arrested in Greensboro for indecent exposure racked up more charges yesterday for indecent exposure and assault. Rodney Deshaun Roberts Knight is 28 years old and he was in court today where the judge gave him a $25,000 bond, which is well above the guidelines for these charges. Good evening. This is the Fox 8 6 o'clock news. I'm Neil McNeil. And I'm Katie Nordine. Fox 8 Sarah Winkleman was inside that courtroom for us today. Sarah, even if he does post bond, I understand there are some other rules here. Yeah, that's right, Katie. The judge ordered that he has to get a mental health assessment before he's released on bond. And if he does get released on bond, he cannot have contact with any of the victims. Now, yesterday, shortly after this happened, one of the victims called me on the phone and explained the entire ordeal and then said with a sigh of relief, they got him. But now today, that fear sets in that if he gets back out, Will he come back and what will he do next? Get away from get police over here now. Get away from him. A frantic phone call to 911 on Thursday afternoon. Get somebody over here now. He hit me. Oh, he slapped me upside the head twice and, and pushed me and hurt my back. Uh, when he pissed me, nothing knocked me down. Cussing me, he was knocked the phone out of my hand. People that live along Patriot Way in Greensboro have seen Rodney Roberts' night before. He's accused of exposing himself and yelling inappropriate comments. It's a prayer bird that's been running around Patriot Way. This time was different. He's okay. very dangerous. It caused such a scene that someone working at their office nearby called in to report it. There's a little strip of the walkway, greenway, whatever. And there's a gentleman who just entered following a lady and he was hollering at her. Immediately after the incident, people in the neighborhood kept an eye on Robert's night to help police track him down. Well, I got uh, another one of the tenants live here. He's walking with me. We're out here at this road. He's still screaming and ranting rant and raving. He's going down, he's walking the trail down Martinsville. He was arrested a short time later and faces six new charges, including assault on a female, simple assault, indecent exposure and communicating threats. Such as, I'm going to kill you. I will come back, burn your house, kill your dog, hang it on the porch. He assaulted her by pushing her three times and slapped her, and it slapped her phone out of her hand while she was trying to call 911. Roberts Knight was previously charged with two counts of indecent exposure and two counts of disorderly conduct. The officer who spoke with Roberts Knights shared in court what he said during their interview. It was like a resentment um, towards white females. He stated that they don't mind their business and they are ignorant. We learned in court that Roberts Knight does not live in that neighborhood. His mom told court services he's homeless. The officer says ring video showed him in the neighborhood several times and now he could face stalking charges too. And the jail diversion program that does help people like McKnight, or excuse me, that help people with serious mental issues does want to help a Roberts Knight in this case. But first, they need that mental health assessment done. Again, the judge ordered that to be done before he can be released on bond. He's expected back here in Guilford County Court on June 12th. Live in Greensboro, Sarah Winkleman, Fox 8 News.